Today's the day we get this all started. This West Michigan region-wide photo project has taken me to 12 counties from Ludington all the way down to the lakeshore to South Haven, east to Hastings, up to Greenville, and all the way back to, up to north to Reed City. And I've been able to see how they're contributing to the economy, how they're building the culture of their own companies individually. It's been one great ride and you're gonna love what you see. Observation on day one, Michigan has a lot of rural areas. For anyone who loves being out in the wilderness, man, you can get out in the wilderness in Michigan, that is for sure. These guys do an amazing job of building custom created boats. Just from nothing, they do everything. When going to manufacturing locations, you don't need to wear dress shoes. They get pretty dirty. I've been able to partner with a photographer, Nick Irwin, who's done all the exterior photography for me. So from festivals to events, he's gone out, driven the miles, and taking some amazing photos of people out and about in the West Michigan area. Who would have thought you could rent your own kitchen space and start a food business on the west side of Michigan, right on the lakeshore? Who knew? 6.45 a.m., hitting the road. Three photo shoots today. We'll see how they go. Hope you enjoy. So one of my stops today is at ADAC Automotive, this massive facility here in Muskegon. They've got 1,200 employees. They make car handle systems. They call them entry exit systems. All that stuff is getting done here at this plant. Master Tag is a company that makes all of the little divots that have uh, all the information about what the plants you're buying. They do stuff uh, world class. Going from one location to another, this is what life looks like in Michigan on the two laners. Two lane roads all day long. So the next stop is Country Dairy. You guys know Country Dairy, they do milk and uh, ice cream and just different dairy products. And the parking lot is packed here for their store. Look at this, they actually have a restaurant and tours. I can't wait to see this operation and see what in the world these guys are up to. This is Josh right here. Josh is taking me around on tour. But he says a recovery drink. This is their famous chocolate milk. I said, I don't discriminate against milk products. He said, you will now. Let's see. Yeah, it's really good. So what did I learn today? I learned that not all ice cream is equal. These guys use extra, extra fat, and it's extra creamy. I learned that car handles are extremely complicated to make, but very sophisticated. And at the same time, there's one big company that produces all the tags for the world of horticulture that you guys buy on an annual basis. It was awesome. So Fen Valley Vineyards, these guys have been making wine since 1973. So they've got a massive tasting room down here, but vineyards that just go on on and on. Anybody else like Michigan wine? Just came from BizStream. These guys do tech support, web development, and they actually have a, a BizStream Academy where they take high schoolers and they actually teach them coding. What better way to get kids interested in software development than to teach them while they're in high school, right? The company's called Seneca. Who'd have thought? Number one producer in the world of cherries right here in Michigan. Whitehall Industries up in Ludington, and I'll tell you what, these guys take aluminum, basically bars, and they create things like sunroofs and transmission holders and all kinds of cool stuff that goes into your car that you have no idea someone in Ludington, Michigan is actually doing. Fairlife makes Fairlife milk, they make chocolate milk, all kinds of milks. And uh, they're so busy because everybody right now is drinking their milk. They can hardly keep up. They actually have to hire more employees and build more buildings. It's absolutely crazy. Who would have thought? We're out here at Kirk Park. Kirk Park is a fantastic spot, but we had a great time. As you can see, it's bright and sunny. If you haven't been to Kirk Park, you should come.
So you know what's interesting to me is that small towns like this end up having bigger businesses. I just was at a manufacturing facility, Hastings, uh, manufactured their fi Hastings fiberglass, uh, and they make uh, tools for electrical power line companies. Who would have thought that hydraulic systems could be made by a Swiss company in Nuego, Michigan? But that's what exactly what Booker does here in Nuego. Today I'm down in Plainwell, Michigan, photographing Old Mill Brew Pub, a building they were going to burn down. They're making beer and just serving the community uh, like crazy. Today's visit was to Perigo, the world's largest generic drug manufacturer. They're located in Allegan, Michigan. Man, they have a massive warehouse, massive production facilities, massive capabilities, and they just keep getting busier and busier and better and better. That's a, it was a great day, and hopefully you'll like what they see. This is uh, Herb Brooks Poultry Ranch. These guys serve millions and millions of birds. They serve two and a half million cage-free hens. Who would have thought that Cargill, the world's largest privately held company, is here in West Michigan, but they are. And they do all things liquid egg, and they got some pretty fancy applications for what you can do with liquid egg in today's 2018 world. I'm out here at Greenville Tool and Dye, and who would have thought Greenville, Michigan, is building dyes and pieces of machinery for Honda, and for General Motors, and these guys are full on busier than they can possibly handle. And it's because they do such a great job. So I just finished up at a company called Lakeland Mill. They're making custom furniture that they ship all over the world, and they do a great job of it. I just got done photographing a agritourism business, a company that's a, a husband and a wife and their girls. But you know what, it's just great to see the ingenuity of family-owned businesses, especially in the agricultural sector here in Michigan. So today was the last day for shooting photos for the Michigan for this Michigan photo project. And I'm so excited for people to see the photos and be able to go out and experience all of these different things that they've never been they've probably never been exposed to, right? If you work in manufacturing, you're not in agriculture a whole lot. If you're a waitress or a waiter at a restaurant, you, probably, you don't know what it looks like to, to work in a factory or to work in an agricultural setting uh, making something on a daily basis.